Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use Liquid Sky for your Android device, allowing you to access a high performance PC for your gaming needs on your Android device. Simply just search for us in the Google Play Store by searching Liquid Sky, come to our Android page, and hit open or install, depending if you have the app already installed. To log in, simply click connect. If you have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth enabled, it's recommended to turn one or the other off depending on if you're on 4G or your Wi-Fi network and if you're using a Bluetooth controller or not. So go ahead and just ignore these messages and we'll go ahead and proceed with logging in by entering your details here. All right, so welcome to the dashboard. Now for myself, I'm using a Xbox 360 controller plugged in using an OTG adapter allowing me to plug into the USB of my Android device so I can navigate our dashboard using a controller. So if I want to add credits or upgrade my plan at any time, I can select between my Sky credits or my storage to be taken to our in-app browser to upgrade my plan. As you'll see, you have the option to select between Steam and a Windows desktop. For mobile devices, we recommend logging into Steam due to its mobile-friendly big picture mode that you can navigate using your controller as opposed to touch. But if you're seeking a full Windows desktop, you can navigate to the Windows icon here where you can open up a traditional Windows 8 desktop. If you want to adjust your phone settings, simply hover over phone settings and select A or tap on phone settings. In your phone settings, you can select between your timeout, which is automatically set to 20 minutes, meaning if you're idle for 20 minutes without making any interaction within your Sky computer, it will automatically log you out saving your credits. You can adjust the auto bitrate quality of your stream, which basically means the higher the quality, the better uh, viewing quality and experience that you'll have, but the better internet connection that you'll need. You can turn off and on your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth within the, the app itself if you wish to. And you can also toggle between 720p resolution and 1080p resolution as well as 60 frames and 30 frames a second. So I'm going to turn it up to 1080 and 60 frames a second for this particular demo. You can also toggle between uh, pinch and zoom if you want it on or off, depending on if you're using your touch as opposed to using a controller. So we'll go ahead and hit B and go back to the main dashboard. Uh, you can also map your controller settings. So if you have a controller plugged in like I do, uh, we can click on the map controller settings and we can control our settings. So right now my right stick is not doing anything, so I can tap onto the, the right stick and I can move it around to make sure that it is properly mapped. Uh, as I move my other buttons, you can see that they light up. And if something's not lighting up properly, just go ahead and tap it on the screen and you can adjust for it. Tap the X to exit. And you can toggle between turning on and off your controller. Um, you can lock or unlock your mouse, which I can show you also while you're playing your game you can do, depending on the game you're playing. And you can enable the, the touch controller, which I'll also show you in app. Uh, and you can also decide on what one finger tap does and what touch and hold and release uh, does while in the app. So that's how you configure your controller settings. I'm going to hit B and move on to our Sky computer. Now this is usually set when you launch your Sky computer. You can select between a different data center or select the different package you want in terms of performance when deciding on what type of game you want to play. High performance runs most games just fine, but if you want to have the, the best quality experience and the best resolution and gameplay, you would want to select ultra performance. And then from there, you can log into your account. You can go to our FAQ page directly from the app in case you have questions, or you can log out of the app and end your session by hitting the log out button here. But for this demo, I want to log straight into Steam as that's what most of our users will do. So I'll go ahead and log into Steam. I'm going to run an ultra performance package so that we can get the best performance out of this demo. And I'm gonna go ahead and select log into Steam since I already have a Steam account, but if you do not, you can create a Steam account. So as you can see, Steam is booting into its big picture mode now. I've already logged in, so I'm already ready to go and jump into my library. Um, this is full Steam big picture mode, so you're able to download games, purchase games, uh, and launch games very quickly. Um, but I don't want to do gameplay for this particular demo, I just want to get you guys familiar. So over on the right hand side, you will see a uh, Liquid Sky icon in which you can tap on, and I can toggle on and off the on-screen controller by turning on and off 
this particular button here in your Liquid Sky Quick Menu. And as you can see, I have a fully functional on-screen controller that allows me to navigate Zimbi Picture or play games in case you do not have a controller accessible at the time in which you're accessing it. What's also nice is this little icon is movable and draggable throughout the app uh, to put it where it's convenient for you. You can turn off the on-screen controller, you can toggle on and off the mouse lock mode depending on what kind of game you're in, if you have any mouse troubles um, or uh, moving around the, the particular type of game you're using, just toggle on and off with this icon here. If you need to access the keyboard, simply just tap the keyboard or tap the keyboard to close. And if you want to go back to the main menu, cl simply click the settings button. So thank you for watching this quick tutorial on how to familiarize yourself with the Liquid Sky Android app. And if you have any questions or want to reach out to us, feel free to email us at support at liquidsky.tv or follow us on our social media channels and we'll be happy to help you in any way that we can. Thank you.